New numbers tonight showing Georgia political candidates are rolling in cash. Campaign fundraising reports now showing that millions and millions of dollars now are being invested in Democrats and Republicans who are trying to keep or hold power in our state. And a lot of that money being spent on those political commercials and ads you've already been seeing for weeks, and you can expect a whole lot more. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joining us now with a look at the actual numbers, Doug. Yeah, this is a story that may open your eyes a bit about what some might call sort of stupid money going into politics and how a select few are getting most of it. For every hour we might have seen Senator Raphael Warnock this May and June, behind the scenes, contributors were handing over to Warnock's campaign nearly $7,900 per hour, night and day. Warnock reported raising money at a rate of $191,000 per day in May and June. And there are some races that are right now so nationalized that they're able to raise a little bit differently than, you know, a, a typical down ballot statewide candidate would. Eric Allen was a down ballot candidate who lost a race for lieutenant governor. Warnock raised more in two average days than Allen raised his entire campaign. No, it's not easy, but it's also, like I said, it's part of what you signed up for. Warnock reported raising $17.2 million in the last three months. Republican Herschel Walker reported raising $6.2 million. Further down the ballot, it's tougher for candidates to find money. Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, who has a national profile, reported raising $305,000 during the two-month period. His opponent, Democrat B. Wynn, raised more than twice that. For real money, go to the governor's raise. Republican Brian Kemp raised $7.1 million, according to his June 30th disclosure. Democrat Stacey Abrams announced she raised $22 million. For Abrams, that breaks down to more than $360,000 per day, $250 per minute, day and night, flowing into her campaign for governor. Because she's a, a charismatic candidate with a great message, and right now Georgia is the, the epicenter of politics. Uh, not only this governor's race, but also um, the, uh, the Senate race. And anybody watching TV already knows what they're spending it on, advertising on TV, the Internet, even screens at gas stations. Campaigns will tell you most voters have already decided all those millions are aimed at that little handful of folks who can't make up their minds yet.